This is going to totally revolutionize the way that we treat tinnitus in the future. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about something that is gonna to totally change everything when it comes to treating tinnitus, and that is biometric tracking. But before I get into this video, do me a huge favor, click the like button, it's gonna really help out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well, it is greatly appreciated. So a lot of you guys are probably already aware that my wife and I partnered with Dr. Craig Casper, who's a tinnitus expert out of New York City, on our new project called Modern Tinnitus. The main goal of this project was to take all of the knowledge that Dr. Casper has been building over the past 20 plus years when it comes to tinnitus treatment and standardizing that. Because the biggest problem we have inside of the world of tinnitus treatment is that most clinics, when they find out you have tinnitus, all they do is recommend that you treat your underlying hearing loss, which the vast majority of people with tinnitus have, with hearing aids and just send you on your way. The problem with that is, is that hearing aids are not the most appropriate tinnitus treatment for everybody with tinnitus. Sure, they can be effective for certain people, but there's other people who get absolutely no relief with their hearing aids when it comes to their tinnitus. So the biggest thing that we ended up identifying when we were developing our modern tinnitus method is that Dr. Casper has a whole variety of different treatment options for people who have tinnitus. And some people get benefit from some of those treatments and other people get benefits from other treatments. We're basically trying to overcome this hammer and nail problem. So if you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail to you, but that's a problem when it comes to tinnitus. You can't just take one treatment and apply it to everybody and expect to get a high level result. But there is something else that we've developed and we've been using for the past year plus at this point that is going to totally change the game, like I said, when it comes to tinnitus treatment. And that is biometric tracking. Now let me give you a little bit of an understanding of where I'm going with this by using diabetes as an analogy. So my father actually has diabetes. He developed it back when he was like 40 years old. He's up in his 70s at this point. So he's been managing it for a really long time at this point. But back when he first got it, the way that he would manage his blood sugar levels was to actually do a finger prick, measure his blood sugar level at that snapshot in time, and then make a decision if he needed more food, more insulin, how much insulin he needed. And at the end of the day, it's a very difficult way to manage your diabetes when you're just taking a small snapshot in time. Now this has totally changed over the past, what, five to 10 years at this point with real-time glucose monitoring and insulin pumps. So now a lot of individuals with diabetes will have a constant reading of what their blood sugar levels are and they'll get warnings if it gets too low, they'll get warnings if it goes too high. They can actually see the trending of what their blood sugar is doing after they've eaten a meal or if it's been a long time since they've eaten a meal and so they know exactly when and how much insulin to give themselves. But on top of that, a lot of of these real-time glucose monitors are actually tied into their insulin pumps so their insulin pumps can take care of that for them. Essentially, this makes it very easy for individuals who have diabetes to manage their diabetes, where before it was extremely difficult to manage your diabetes. Now, I wish it was that simple when it came to tinnitus, but here's the thing with tinnitus. No one treatment works for everybody, but for us to be able to identify which treatment is working, it would be very helpful to have a biomarker that we could use to identify if a treatment is working. So you're probably already aware that you can take different wearable devices like an Apple Watch, a Fitbit, a Whoop Band, or a variety of other biometric tracking devices. You can see different things like your heart rate, your respiration rate, how many steps you've taken throughout the day, and a variety of other different biomarkers. Well, the thing that we've discovered when it comes to tinnitus is that there are certain biomarkers that are highly correlated with your tinnitus symptoms. Essentially, we can use these biomarkers as a proxy for your tinnitus and if your tinnitus is improving based on a different treatment that we administer. Now, I'm not gonna lie, we're in the relatively early stages of this, but we're already starting to see some pretty impressive data with the patients that we've been treating for the past year plus at this point. Essentially, over the past year of treating patients, we've been able to go from just taking their subjective questionnaire data to see if there's been any improvement in their tinnitus by using a particular tinnitus treatment to actually looking at different biomarkers in real time to identify if a treatment is actually working for them objectively. And this is just phase one. When we start getting down the road and have enough data to look at and analyze, we are likely going to be able to identify which treatment would be most appropriate for you before we even start your treatment. 
Just think of how crazy that would be for us to be able to be predictive of which treatment would be most effective for you so you don't have to waste your time trying all of these different treatments that exist out there for tinnitus. So how is this ultimately going to end up working? Well, basically, the way I predict that it's going to work is that when you go in for a tinnitus consultation and they have you fill out the different questionnaires and do a hearing evaluation and all of that, they're going to start having you wear a device that will track your biometric data and put it into a portal. And we've actually developed our own proprietary portal. We call the Modern Tinnitus Base Camp. And we can actually track your biometric data. And then we're going to look at that data after a few weeks to identify what the biomarkers are that we need to improve the most if we want to see a corresponding improvement in your tinnitus symptoms. Then after we administer the treatment to you, we're going to be able to see how much improvement you're having in those different biomarkers and if we need to take a different approach or different strategy to improve those different biomarkers so you can get the most amount of tinnitus relief possible. So yeah, this is going to become a pretty big deal when it comes to tinnitus treatment in a very short period of time. Now the thing that you might be thinking about right now is that sounds really awesome, how can I actually get involved in this? Well, if you're someone who has tinnitus, the thing that you're going to want to do is go to moderntinnitus.co, not .com, but moderntinnitus.co and find a modern tinnitus specialty center in your area. So remember how I was talking about us identifying all of the different ways that Dr. Craig Casper would approach treating tinnitus? Well, we've actually onboarded a variety of tinnitus clinics throughout the United States that are using a lot of his methods and they're incorporating biometric tracking so we can start using biometric tracking to improve your tinnitus. Now I have to say that tinnitus treatment has improved substantially over the past 10 years or so, but I think that the most revolutionary thing that we will see over the next 10 years is the biometric data that we end up collecting and how we can use that biometric data to significantly improve your tinnitus.